Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be making a video on the glorious Milo O and if it is worth it and if you should consider buying it. So basically, I personally just bought it today. So like this is like first day preferences. You know? The first day usage. I'm not going to be like... Ex I'm not experienced with, with it. Not that experienced, right? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm not that experienced. Yeah. So, do you, do I think it's worth it? I mean, it depends. What clicking method do you do? I mean, really, it just comes down to that. If you're butterfly clicking or drag clicking. Drag clicking? I mean, I, I have the map black, so we can easily get 20 CPS on the back. Okay, 21. But if you like single click, like, I mean, it's really just. And really, it's just if you single click, just like hit the mouse that you think the shape is better for. Like, the mouse with the best shape and the best grip, you know? Because if that's your, your main clicking method, you can just barely, you can probably just get any mouse. But I would recommend a mouse that could, uh, that you can grip good on. You know? You know, I just want to like clear that out of the way. If you single click, just use any mouse you want. Uh, but just make sure you have a good grip for it. Uh, like, fix your play style. But if you jitter click, here, I'm going to jitter click. I'm not getting that much CPS. There are better mice out there for jitter clicking. But like if you want a butterfly click, yeah, you should get a cop this mouse. It's really good for butterfly clicking. I'm not fully used to it. So like uh I'm not fully used to it, the mouse. So which is gonna like be like a major flaw for me right now. But I'm gonna make like a video. But like after I like after I've like um I'm like gonna make a video after like I'm experienced basically like in a week or a month or so. Like a week or two. But if you want to long drag on it, there are better alternatives. But if you also long drag and butterfly, you should cop it. Like seriously, here let me book long drag sixteen. It could easily hit 40 CPS, but like bulk clicking barely does anything. It only just is CPS. So let me bulk click. I'm better on YouTube bulk clicking. 26. But you should you 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 if you're like experienced, you can get easily 100. Let me try getting 40. And if you wanna like sure drag and like do bridging methods, it's not the best for a bridging methods. It'll still get the job done. You know? So here let me try playing a game of bridge with it and see how it is. This is also like one of my first games on today. So I literally just like got done eating dinner. Yeah, we're just go up. This mouse so far just it's and by the way, if you have like smaller hands, it's a bit harder for you to grip on it, but 
still good. You you should just get the model O minus if if you have smaller hands. Just get the model O or model D A minus. But there's like one major flaw. Like not major, but like it's a small flaw. But like at least for me, it's a small flaw. The side buttons like move left and right. You know, which is like really probably really bad for like people who use those side buttons but I don't so like I don't really matter to me like there's no squeaking in the right click or left click at all no squeaking at all dude it's like just like good build quality as big buttons if you have like medium to large hands you should be perfectly fine with your grip style it just depends what grip style you do and don't also the software is amazing. Like uh, the soft the packaging could probably get 20 CPS itself. You know, but the mouse is kinda harder to get 20 CPS. Butterfly button, I mean. The packaging can get like easy 20, you know? The packaging is just so clean, you know? Yeah. So like, do I think you should get this mouse? Yeah, absolutely. If you butterfly click at least. But if you jitter, there are better alternatives like the G Pro X Super Light, uh, Razer Viper Mini Ultimate. There are better mice out there for jitter clicking. But if you butterfly click or drag click, this is a decent mouse for drag. But like butterfly, it's amazing. This is literally my first day using it, and I already feel the power, model O power, you know. I can literally turn it to colorful right now. I I literally have the mouse. I I can put on his skin, and I also have his back. And I can also turn on his crosshair. But like, do I think you should buy this mouse? I, uh, I sorry, I repeated this like multiple times. But yeah, she should definitely cop this mouse. And yeah, this has been. Uh, if you play, also if you play bridge, it's a really good mouse. But keep in mind, there are better alternatives for depending on what cooking method. But this mouse may not fit you your play style or whatever, like right away. Well, uh, slowly you may fit into it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed. Please have a nice day. And I'm out. Bye.